Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Techicode Buddy. I hope you are doing extremely well and your placement preparation is also going well. Well guys, in this video I have come up with many type of questions including critical and abstract reasoning and verbal ability and all the questions are asked in the latest Accenture exam. So in this video we will be solving these questions but before proceeding further, I would request you if you haven't subscribed this channel, then hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell and also join our telegram community for free placement stuff stuff and follow me on Instagram for more hiring updates and for more such type of content. So yeah, let's begin with the video. Let me take the pen first. So this is the very first question and this question is from reasoning. Now 9 plus 10 plus 2 is equals to 3 is equals to 3. And 5 plus 8 plus 14 is equals to 9. What will be the value of 12 plus 5 plus 11? So let's understand the idea behind it. So 9 plus 10 plus 2 is equals to 3. Now, when we add all these numbers, what we will get? So 9 and 10, 19 plus 2 is 21. Again, add both of these. So we will get 3, right? Now check for this. 5 plus 8 plus 14 is equals to 9. So when we add these numbers, so what we will get? 14 and 8 will be 22 plus 5 is 27. Again, when we sum these two digits, we will get 9. So the, so the idea behind this is sum of all the digits and again sum of all the digits. Okay, now let's follow this idea on this. 12 plus 5 plus 11. So 11 and 5 is 16, 16 and 12 will be 6 and 2, 8 and 1, 1, 2, 28. So 2 plus 8 will become 10. So the 10 will be the correct answer for this question. Okay, I hope you guessed the correct answer. Now coming on to this. This question is from analogy and light is related to dark, then how bright is related to this? So light suppose it is dark. And what will be the opposite of bright? Dull, shine, dawn or dust. So dull is the opposite of bright. So the dull will be the correct answer for this question. Now, this is the question from ranking and order. Okay, so Raj is 17 from the left of a row of 29 boys and Karan is 17 from the right end in the same row. Okay, so Raj is from the left end and he is on the 17th position and Karan is from the right end and he is again is at the 17th position. Now, how many boys are there between them in the row? Okay, so how many total boys uh, are there in the class? So total are 29. And Karan is 17th from the right end. Okay, so Karan is 17th from the right end. So we will uh, find out how many boys are there standing in the left of the Karan. So we will subtract the current position from the total number of students. So what we will get? We will get 12. Okay. So 12 students or 12 boys are there who are standing at the left of the current. Okay. So from the left side, current position will be 13, right? Because 12 students are there who are standing at the left position of the current. So the current, posi so the current position from the left end will be 13. And now it is already given that Raj is 17th from the left end. So Raj is 17th and the current is 13th from the left. So 13th and 17th. Now how, how many boys are there in between of them? This is current and this is Raj. So 14, 15 and 16. There are three boys in between of them. So the three will be the correct answer for this question. Okay. I hope you guessed it and it makes sense. You have understand the proper idea behind this. So moving on to the next question. Next question is from a statement and conclusion. Some rocks are marble. No marble is concrete. Some concrete are not bricks. So to solve these type of questions from a statement and conclusion, we should make a Venn diagram. Some rocks are marble. So I am making here some rocks. These are rocks. No marble is concrete. Uh, no, uh, some rocks are marble, no marble is concrete and some concrete are not bricks. Some rocks are marble. Okay, so some rocks are marbles. This is the Venn diagram for the first line. Now, no marble is concrete. 
so no any marble is going to be concrete right and some concrete are not bricks so there are some concretes there are some concretes which cannot be brick which cannot be brick okay now coming on to the conclusion so some marbles are brick so from here we can see that some marbles are not brick but guys don't make uh, the uh, answer instantly okay because there is one more diagram who will prove that some marbles can be brick according to this according to this this is some marbles are brick according to this this is false but i can make a diagram that will prove this time you wrong okay uh, what it is so it is some rocks are marbles this is okay now some concrete cannot be brick now we can make bricks here we can make bricks here and all the statements are follows so you can't guess at the first instant so to solve this type of question this is a question this is a particular type of question in statement and conclusion and and what is the identity of this question is if in the conclusion you are getting same subjects like here is marbles and bricks again here is marble and bricks and first is saying some first is saying in the positive way and second is saying is in in the negative way like some marbles are bricks according to this some marbles are brick and according to this no marble is brick or no brick is marble okay so don't you think that only one can be the answer if it is or if it is both are not correct at the same time only one can be correct you can understand this like if i am asking you that guys tell me uh, have i done with the breakfast or not so your answer will be either yes or no that ma'am has been done with the breakfast or maybe she is not done with the breakfast so answer can be only one either yes or no so again in this case also answer can be any of one so either so this answer will be either first or second conclusion follows only one can be truth i hope it makes sense and it is clear to you so moving on to the next question next question is from blood relationship so p is uh, p's father is q son so p's father P's father is Q son. Here is the father of P, and he is Q son. Okay. Now the gender of Q is not not defined yet. M is the paternal uncle of P. So M is the paternal uncle of P. So if M is the paternal uncle of P, so he might be male. Okay, and he is the paternal uncle of P. And N is the brother of Q. So N is the brother of Q. Again, N is male now how is n related to m so the relationship between n and m so we can't guess the relationship between n and m because of the gender of q is not determined yet okay so if she is male then n will be the maternal uncle of m and if q is male then n will be the paternal uncle of m so the answer cannot be determined So none of these will be the answer. Brother, no. Nephew, cousin, no. Data inadequate. Data is properly given. But if we get the gender of the Q, then we will get to know the answer. Okay. So the answer will be none of these. So moving on to the next question. Next question is from coding decoding, and it's a type of Chinese coding. Okay. In a code language, mock den sil means nice big house. Okay, nice big house. So we will write it as mock. Then, sil, and what does it mean? It it means nice, big house, but it doesn't mean like mock is assigned to nice only. It can be, but we can't sure. We cannot be sure that mock is for sure assigned to nice. Okay, it can be assigned to either house or big. Okay, now coming on the next fit con dam. Fit con Dam means house is good. House is good, and third is warm till fit. Warm till fit means cost is high. Cost is high. Okay, now we have to find the 
word that is stands for good so we will see the similar words in the other sentence like for nice we will check whether nice is present in another sentence or not so nice no no nice is not present we will see for wig wig is present or not no wig is not present so we will check for house whether house is present in the remaining sentences or not so yes house is present okay now we will check in this line what are the same words that are present in this and this too so fit condemn and mock dancel so den is present in both so den will be assigned to house for sure as the house and den are coming in both of the sentence okay so den is for house now we will check for is okay so is is present here and also is is present for uh, is is present here okay so fit is present here to so fit is for okay fit is for is now what is left here good and what is left here con so good will be assigned for con so the con word will be the correct answer for that. it's just a play of i zone next question is again from blood relationship it's really an important topic for all your placement preparation a is the father of x okay so a is the father of x x gender is not determined yet b is the mother of y so we will write here b is the mother of y okay the sister of x and z is y so y is the sister so we will make it female and she is the sister of x and z so she is the sister of x and z so these three are the siblings to each other right and if y's mother is b and these all are siblings then x and z are also the child of a and b and a and b are married couple to each other now which of the following statement is definitely not true b is the mother of z so b is the mother of z it is true x is the sister of z so x gender is not determined yet so we cannot say anything about it y is the son of a y is daughter okay not son y is female so it cannot be son definitely not true so yeah this is y is the son of a because y is the daughter of a and b so it cannot be son so the correct answer will be y is the son of a okay so moving on to the next question next question is 467 is assigned to leaves are given leaves are given right and 485 means 485 means given is god given is sorry good okay 639 means they are playing it's just random number and don't think that 4 is assigned to leaves and 6 is assigned to are and 7 is assigned to given it can be but we can't be sure okay as i previously mentioned that we cannot be sure about it it can be assigned to the same uh, places but i'm not sure or b cannot be sure okay so again we'll check for whether any word is matching to another word in the next line or in the next to next line or not okay so we will check leaves there is no any leave in others given so given is present here and given is present here and now check for the numbers too so four is present here and four is present here so for sure given contains four okay now we will check r so we can say r and r and what is the next number same here six and six so r is for six okay now the left over is leaves and the left digit is seven so leaves will be assigned to seven so seven will be the correct answer okay now coming on to the verbal ability questions so this is the very first question asking exchanger and it is little bit blur but i'm uh, telling you okay replace the underlined word in the following sentence with the most suitable word so did you forget where you were going so the most suitable uh, words we have to find out and there are options are you forgotten first option is are you forgotten and then next is have you forgotten then have you forgetting then did you forgetting so are you forgotten we can't use third form with is am are or was were 
so with is am are and was were we have to use ing okay so this cannot be the answer have you forgotten this will be the answer as we as we have to use the third form of verb with has and have right so this will be the correct answer and then have you forgotten so we cannot use ing with has and have and did you forgetting so did is the second form of verb and it is the past form and we cannot use ing with the past form of verb so the correct answer will be have you forgotten okay i hope it makes sense and it is clear to you so moving on to the next question next question is uh, uh, fill up the word okay could you please tell me where the office is located so this is the correct answer uh, okay now why these are not the correct answer okay so is located the office so this doesn't make any sense this is not following the proper idea of sentence formation so this not make sense okay and uh, could you please tell me where the office is uh, where the office located could is the past form and we cannot use the present form uh, with uh, the past um, form okay so we have to use the second form in it and this is the correct answer the office is could you please tell me where the office is located this will be the correct answer Okay, so moving on to the next question. We have to find out the correct one. Sam didn't really understand the instructions. However, he didn't. He did what he was told. Okay, not really understanding the instructions, but Sam did what he was told. Though he didn't really understand the instructions, Sam did what he was told. So this is making sense. This is making some sense. ऑल्दो सेम को पता नहीं था क्या क्या इंस्ट्रक्शन है उसको इंस्ट्रक्शन समझ में नहीं आए स्टिल उसने किया जो उसको कहा गया ओके ना इवन दो सेम डिडेंट रियली अंडरस्टैंड द इंस्ट्रक्शन बट डिड वॉट यू वॉज टोल्ड टिल हेयर टिल हेयर द सेंटेंस इज एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्ट बट हेयर बट डिड वॉट यू वॉज टोल्ड दिस डजेंट मेक एनी सेंस दो दिस कैन नॉट बी द आंसर एंड दीज आर ऑल्सो नॉट मेकिंग द टोटल सेंस ओके only this is making uh, a better sense though he didn't really the uh, he didn't really understand the instructions sam did what he was told so this is only making the proper sense and others are not so c will be the correct answer so we have to find out the antonym for gain here what is gain to to gain something to acquire something right so what will be the antonym of this to lose something okay so loss will be the correct answer for this question so moving on to the next question next is we have to fill up a suitable article the question is fill up second void to your left is a cousin of mine and the articles are an a the and no article so here we are talking about a specific boy we are addressing to someone special the second boy who is your at your left is my cousin so we are addressing a specific person so when we are addressing a specific person on when or whenever we are telling about or we are talking about any specific thing any particular thing we use the here so the second boy who is left of yours is my cousin okay so the the will be the correct answer for this question moving on to the next question so this is a para symbol and we have uh, we have to reorder the sentence so that we can make a better sentence or a meaningful sentence development is necessary for a better future okay this can be the first a conservationist have the view that in ways that are not not wasteful but only when the changes occur so this cannot be the starting uh, sentence why because this is starting with but okay so no any sentence can be start with but if it is a, an initial sentence it cannot be start with but so this cannot be the answer so the s wala option will be eliminate from there this cannot be the answer now coming on to this in ways that are not wasteful it can be a middle part of but not the initial stage or not the initial part so r wala option is also been eliminated now development is necessary for a better future conservationists have the view that so if we uh, order the sentence like in this way development uh, p so p q r s so development is necessary for a better future conservationist have the view that in ways that are not wasteful so it it doesn't make any sense but if we order the sentence in that way like conversationist have the view that development is necessary for better future 
but only when the changes occur in ways that are not wished. Conservationists have the view that conservationists ऐसे सोचते हैं कि development better future के लिए necessary है but only तब जबकि जो changes किए जाए वो wasteful ना रहे so QPSR will be the correct option for this okay I hope it makes sense and it is clear to you and also you guess the proper idea okay so moving on to the next question read the following sentence and fill the blank uh, by appropriate option it's not easy to digest the profoundness of a mother's love for her child we are trying to find out something or we are trying to evaluating something that what is the love of mother towards her child okay so we are trying to find out something we are trying to evaluate something so the correct option will be evaluate fluctuate doesn't make any sense in this sentence equate doesn't make any sense overestimate no not at all okay so evaluate will be the correct answer so this is the last question for today uh, we have to convert the direct speech into indirect speech so the student said to his teacher did the sun rise in the east so after reading this sentence what we can analyze is this is an interrogative sentence so the answer should be uh, contain if or whether right this is the rule in direct and indirect speech if a sentence is interrogative so when we convert it into uh, indirect form so we will write if or whether okay so that option will be totally out as it doesn't contain if okay now this is the past form so we have to use the past form in our answer to so this is not using the past form so c will also be eliminated and now set to will be converted to asked set to will be converted to asked as it is the interrogative sentence and the student is inquiring something or he is asking something so the uh, set to will be converted to asked so v or d can be the answer now the last is we have to convert the verb into second form this is the auxiliary verb and this is the main verb now in the answer auxiliary verb will be removed and the main verb will become as its second form okay so the student asked his teacher if the sun rose in the east so this is the correct answer why this is not the correct answer because this is having the first form of verb but here we have to use the second form of the verb okay so guys this is all for today these are some questions asked in accenture as well as tcs and bipro 2 okay i have solved all the questions and i hope the all questions are clear to you but still you have doubts then what you can do is rewind the video and watch it again or you can ask me on telegram or instagram so that that is why i've told you that follow me on instagram or join our telegram community the link for the same is given in the description box also guys i'm planning to start a new series for placement coding uh, and the coding questions will be from tcs infosys wipro exchanger capgemini cognizant dxc technology hcl and so on now you tell me whether i should start this series or not whether you will support me or not okay so yeah we will meet in the next video until then bye bye and take care